what people I think don't know is that your courage goes back to your mother. Yes. And there is an extremely moving account that I want you to share with our audience about how you lost your mother when you were only three years old. And she was, in fact, fighting a wild animal. Your parents were posted in Nepal. They were out for a morning walk. What happened after Ma'am, this is uh, one part of my life I have never revealed to anyone. Uh, for two reasons. One is this incident which happened to me when I was three years old. Mm. It's a very personal incident and it gives me a lot of pride. I lost my mother. But the circumstances which led to her loss, yes. I am proud of it. And that gives me a lot of strength. Second is as I grew in service, as I grew in my life, I did not want people to look at me with some sort of daya. You did not I, want pity. I did not want pity. I wanted people to acknowledge my work. Yes. Acknowledge what I am and acknowledge what I need his own capabilities are. Mm. For these two reasons, I never revealed this to anyone. But now that you read it in the book, it is mentioned in the first page book on your show. For the first time, I'll uh, yes. reveal it. Uh, my parents, my father is a civil engineer. Yes. And uh, my mother was five feet, eight inches tall lady. Tall like her son. Yeah. Her son is tall like her. Tall, yes. Son is tall like <laughs> And uh, I've given the photograph also of my mother in the book. Yes. That's the only photograph I have. And uh, I was about three years of age. It was December 64 when they were posted in Nepal. And uh, they were going for a morning walk. A wild animal attacked my father. He almost mauled my father to death. Since it was winter days, my mother was having a shawl around her shoulders. She took off her shawl, put it around the neck of that animal who was almost was a pouncing or almost mauling my dad and started squeezing it. Mm. She squeezed that animal's neck to death mm. and saved my father. In the bargain, the animal also attacked her. The lot of bites and nail bites and scratches. And when she was recovering for her, from her injuries, some injections were transported from Gorakhpur in a thermos, a flask. Mm. And somehow the temperature could not be maintained in that flask in those days. And those injections got bad. And she had a reaction to the injection, and then she succumbed to that infection in January 65. So like a soldier, she basically died saving your father's life. Absolutely. Man. Like in the army we say, he died with boots on. She literally died with boots on. And I can see how much it moves you and <laughs> saddens you even today. Of course. Yes, yeah, I'm proud of her. Of course. And yeah. she is called Shermar. Sherma. Shermar Ma, yes. Which is the mother who killed a lion. Yes, ma'am. God bless her. God bless her.